what it is, what it isn't. Looking for a better way to get up out of bed instead of getting on the internet and checking a new hit. Get up, first shot, come strut walking. A little bit of humble, a little bit of cautious. Somewhere between like Rocky and Cosby's for the game. Nope, nope, y'all can't copy up. Bad, moonwalking, and this here is our party. My posse's been on Broadway, and we did it all way. Chrome music, I shed my skin and put my bones into everything I record to it. And yeah, I'm on. Let that stage light go and shine on down. Got that Bob Barker suit game and plinko in my style. Money, stay on my craft and stick around for those pounds. But I do that to pass the torch and put on for my town. Trust me, I'm my I N D E P E N D E N T shit hustling. Chasing dreams since I was 14 with the four track bussing. Halfway across that city with the black, 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 black crush it. Labels yes, Mac Lamore and Ryan Lewis. They are your winners of international group. Oh, um, well, we know who Toby voted for. Let's um, have some actual figures, shall we, about how close it was. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. So I'm just loading up this poll page. You can find out who won, uh, how, who received how many votes. We started off with British Mail. Tiny Temper obviously won with seven votes. Then at second place, John Newman with three votes. David Bowie got two votes and one vote went to Naughty Boy. And also, international group, Mac Lamore and Ryan Lewis with nine votes. And Daft Punk and The Script both tie in second with two votes each. And Arcade Fire with one vote. That's interesting. It's interesting to see what's going on. Um, right, so stay tuned for an amazing performance that you do not want to miss. We're going for an ad break now. See you after the adverts. At British Gas, we're revolutionising the way our customers see their energy. We're upgrading you to smart meters so you get accurate bills without submitting meter readings. And you get a breakdown of what you're spending on things like heating and lighting. With smart meters, you'll never see energy in the same way again. British Gas. We do more to look after your world. If we were meant to fly, we'd have been given wings. And as you may have noticed, we weren't. But we were all given bottoms, and I think we should do our best to look after them. So if your business bottom is making its way to London on an important business trip, it's your duty to make sure if it's a big, comfy, first-class seat on a GNER train, and that it's not squashed into a tiny seat on a plane. That way, after a peaceful journey being whisked through Britain's countryside, you and your bottom will arrive right in the centre of the capital, ready to take on the world. GNER. Same trip, different journey. First class fares from Edinburgh to London start from just £79 when you book at gner.co.uk. Do you know what I love about fish and chips? When you rip open the paper and that gorgeous smell rushes out, it just makes me mouth water. I love the really crispy bits of batter you get. I hope Gorman's have loads of batter. Yeah. So whereabouts is this new Gorman's chippy? Um, it, mm, it's... Well, are we nearly there? Well, not yet. It's in West Hope, Newcastle. Newcastle upon Tyne? Oh, blimey! Better be worth the drive. Oh, it will be. If you're going to do fish and chips, it's got to be Gorman's West Hope. Open 11 to 9, Monday to Saturday, next to West Hope Tail Centre on the Redburn Industrial Estate. There's loads of free parking too, so go on, get fish and chips tonight. You know you want to. Put your foot down, then. There's no reason to be bored in the northeast. The region is chock-a-block with great fun family days out. Get a strike at Star Bowl. Oh, take a fee back in time at Bede's World. Go oh, totally quackers at Washington Wildfowl Center. And get a Discover Pass for discounts off entry, plus loads of other special offers. They're just one pound from tourist information centers around the area. Find out more at visitnewcastlegateshead.co.uk forward slash discover. Terms and conditions apply. Remember the bog off offer from Safe Star UK? Well, it's back. You know the one. You buy one, you get one free. I said you buy one, you get one free. Right now, for every single winner and all that you buy, I'll give you another one. I've Absolutely free! Plus, there's flexible monthly payments to suit you! And Safestar are still giving you free fitting! 
Trust me, it's free fitting. So call 0800 106 107. I said 0800 106 107 now. This is UK FM. Hey, I'm Mariah Carey. Hi, I'm Robbie Williams. Hi, this is Paul McCartney. Hey, this is Kylie. Hi, this is Simon Cowell. Hey, it's Katy Perry. Hi, we say that. This is UK FM. Right, welcome back to the Thorpe Music Awards 2014. And we have an amazing performance for you next. Performing live, her two songs, Clown and Next to Me. This is Emily Sunday. I guess it's funny from It's from over here I missed the joke. Thank you. 
what a performance! Emily Sunday there, ladies and gentlemen. Now, we are nearly uh, going to announce the winner of... Um, uh, what is it called? Recognition for Music Award. What's um, Special Contribution to Music Award. And we're going to have a live performance from whoever wins that award live on this very stage well show but first we're going to announce the winner we we were supposed to have Brad pre present this and he's not turned up so I'm going to present the winner of British Breakthrough Act <laughs> Ella Air Sam Bailey and untangled you from me would it make you feel better to watch me while I bleed Sam Smith Tom O'Dell The Vamps Bastille Disclosure Guess who's t decided to turn up now? Hello, Brad. Hello. <laughs> you know, you're not late. You're not that late. Um, <laughs> you know what? You can okay. announce the winner if you like. Okay. And the winners are the Vamps. Yes, the Vamps win British Breakthrough Act. Uh, one guy. The Vamps win British Breakthrough Act. It's a great award that was. Um, let's see the percentage or the amount of votes the Vamps got as well as the other nominees. So, oh, I haven't played my background music yet. Let's play a bit of the back background music whilst we announce this. <coughs> So, we had, obviously, the Vamps won with four votes. Sam Bailey came in second with three votes. Joint second, well, joint third, we had Bastille and Tom O'Dell with two votes each.